So welcome back everybody as the second half gets underway at uh, Bloomfield Road. Nil nil then in this Lancashire Derby. Burnley have got us underway in those white shirts. And the first throw conceded by McGee to be taken by Michael Kitely. Burnley have, haven't lost away from home since Middlesbrough. And since Middlesbrough, the turn of the year, here's Kylie now bursting into a good position on the edge of the six yard box and cleared away by McMahon. Great opportunity there for the Clarets to try and break through. Kitely looking sharp at the start of this second half, twisted past the defender and got the ball in, but McMahon able to get it away off the line nearly. And a corner to be taken by Jones. And he's gone short this time. It's Mike Duff! And he's shot wide. Oh, what a chance for Michael Duff. Blackpool went to sleep in defence from the corner. It came to Duff. And this is the best chance of the match. Michael Duff, under no pressure, shoots wide at Jukes' post. And here's a chance for Barnes now to break. Things up ahead of him. Comes to Jones. Kitely. And Trippier out on the right. This is uh, Kitely now. Playing a 1-2 with Marnie. And here's Michael Kitely. Kitely with a shot. Oh, what a magnificent goal! Michael Kitely with a superb goal for Burnley! And they take the lead on the final coast! To the delight of 2,500 Burnley fans, Clarets who have made the journey! West from Burnley! Wonderful football! Kindly back to Marnie! Then Kindly bending in with the left foot! Jukes never had a prayer! And Burnley take a huge step to promotion! With a fantastic well work goal! And Kindly scored a magnificent goal! And it's his third of the season! And puts Burnley into the lead! 1-0! Brilliant! Well, what a magnificent occasion for these Burnley fans to enjoy. They're celebrating that goal from Michael Kitely. And now, they are just 40 minutes away from what could be the most crucial victory of the lot. They've had some tremendous away days recently. Their last victory was against Barnsley. And here's things really that the Blackpool defence has got Kylie out to the right. But Perkins is there. And away by Basham. But only as far as Jones. And now Trippier. Trippier still going. Here's Kitely. Again, I'm trying to get past the defender Halliday. But Halliday was there. Good sturdy defending there by the substitute. And Blackpool with it all to do now. They played five minutes into the second half and Blackpool stunned silence. Burnley fans diluted in delirium. Currently wanted a three kick. This is the goal again and what a goal it was. Beautiful. And the Burnley fans really making themselves heard. There are 16,000, I believe, inside the ground. And there are tennis balls being thrown on the field. This is not going to help anybody here. Objects being thrown on the field by Blackpool fans. Unhappy. And the protests have been made at Owen Hoyston. There's a banner just going through there. Demonstrating that particular fact. And this isn't helping anybody. These fans, what do they think they are doing? There is unrest. It's not helping anybody. It's not helping the referee, the 22 players on the field. And it's, if it's a court of time racing to try and get a point out of this, it's called gamesmanship. I don't like it at all. And Barry Ferguson is incensed by it all. I can... Well, Blackpool have every right to vent their frustrations, but not during the match by throwing objects onto the field. This is disgraceful. There is a time and a place to make protests. That is before or after the match. It will help Burnley in one sense because 
it wastes the time and well that's the point they're trying to make make it like that don't throw tennis balls on the field of play and disrupt the influence of the game and Burnley have been on top in the game and that sort of interrupted the flow and it's not good for everybody so and here's Almond Almond again trying to find uh, Bishop what a second half we've had here so far and we've only played 10 minutes of it here's Basham's cross nodded away Ferguson well, the Blackpool fans have not won many friends up and down the land there is no unity at all at Blackpool Football Club no unity at all and it's been like that for weeks actually that's going to be a corner kick and the Blackpool fans must get behind their team but there's just no unity at the plate at the moment they have a corner though and uh, McMahon will take McMahon with the corner headed away and frustration grows for Blackpool and there's going to be a Burnley substitution in the office Junior Stanislas will come on for Michael Cartley whose goal separated the teams this was the goal again lovely one two and then bang into the corner of the net and that has, the diff that has given Burnley a significant stride possibly towards Premier League football next season Junior Stanislas the man who's out of contract remember this uh, summer the former West Ham man will come on and now Blackpool trailing must try and get back into this game Osborne here is Almond Almond's cross turned away by Trippier and still Burnley knocking on the door and of the Premier League now with a victory there Stephen Dobby ready to come on and there's something going on there between Bob Malcolm there oh look at that from Bob Malcolm absolutely ridiculous there's obviously something going on there between him and Stephen Dobby you cannot do that Bob Malcolm you just cannot do that and I'm sure the fourth official has taken note and he's surely going to send Bob Malcolm to the stands the referee's surely informed by this because as soon as the breaking play you just cannot do that well well that just sums Blackpool up Blackpool's day up in an absolute nutshell we should be talking about a possible promotion party for the Clarets and instead of which we're talking about protests and stupid things and things like that it's going to over overshadow what could possibly be a tremendous red, red letter day in the history of Burnley Football Club Here's the crossing from Bishop. Let's just get back to the game for a second. McMahon to Bishop. Osborne on the chase. And Jones concedes the corner. And Isaiah Osborne is. Well, he's, he looks tired now. Michael Oliver coming over to the touchline. Is he going to send Bob Malcolm off? Looks as if he is. Yes! And quite rightly so! The referee takes the appropriate action. Bob Malcolm can have no complaints at all. What was he doing? What did he think he was doing doing that? It was ridiculous. Both player, both Dobby and Malcolm should be criticised from pillar to post for that. Meanwhile, there's a substitution taking place and the aforementioned Dobby who was involved in that stupid incident just now is going to replace... Isaiah Osborne who's looking very jaded and very tired and it just proves well he doesn't see any after effects but Bob Malcolm well Barry Ferguson must be seething he's asking for calm now here comes the corner Burnley must mark up it's all happening here at uh, Bloomfield Road Burnley just five minutes away for a stoppage time from a, a, a tremendous victory here at Bloomfield Road they've just got to hold on in there they defended very competently have not let the antics of the Blackpool fans and what's happened on the touchline affect them too much Almond free kick given against Jones looked a tough decision to me I think he's going to get booked for that it's David Jones who's going in the book well, 
I thought Garmin was going down a little too easily. So Jones is booked and the referee calling across Jason Shekel. Just say no more of that please. Three kick to Blackpool. Burnley have got to stay on their metal defensively. They can't afford any mistakes. It's now or never. As far as the Clarets are concerned and as far as Blackpool are concerned they need the win for obvious other reasons. A slight delay in the taking of this uh, three kick but Michael Kipe's goal, there he is. It's the difference so far and it could well be the crucial difference. There are three and a half minutes plus stoppage time to go. What drama. At Bloomfield Road. Burnley on the cusp of what could be a crucial, crucial victory at Bloomfield Road. It's been a dramatic game. It's not been a pretty game. But it's been dramatic. Ferguson whips the three kick in. Again, terrific defence there from Shackle and Duff. And they haven't given all to way at the back. In comes the cross from Perkins. The ball comes out. There's the shot. Charge down. And here's Danny Ings on the break. And now this could be danger for Blackpool. And this could be promising for Burnley. But Ings has conceded a three kick. Well, Danny Ings has been a little bit frustrated. Sean Dyche and his team on the cusp of greatness here. But also they need the result at the keep melt later on tonight to go their way. They need a Doncaster victory first and foremost against uh, Derby as well. If they can hold on here of course. If they win the gap is 11 points with Derby still to play. Jones gets it forward and Ings is there but the goalkeeper's there as well in jokes. What a finish now. Basham, McMahon onside. Off Stanislas for the corner. A great finish to this match here at, um, at Bloomfield Road. And uh, Blackpool wanting to get on with the corner, but Burley about to make a change. And the referee just turning around there and is allowing the substitution to take place. Danny Ings is the man going to come off. And on in his place will be David Edgar. Danny Ings just shaking the hand of the referee and gets a good applause from the Burnley fans still stuck on 25 for the season but what a performance he's worked really well in that defence and now he's worked really hard defending and attacking today no reward for Danny Ings today but David Edgar will take his place no doubt about it and Edgar as a defensive minded player will come on now and add a bit more steel to that Burnley back line Corner to be taken by McMahon. Into the danger zone. Headed away by Shekel, but only as far as Halliday who shoots. And what a tremendous clearance off the line by Trippier. Oh, what a clearance that was. Kieran Trippier has probably won Burnley the game. What a tremendous goal line clearance. One of the best I've ever, ever seen. We played 20 seconds over the five minutes. And really... Really, Sean Knight's side have got their just rewards, surely. There's not enough time for Blackpool to get up the field and get that equaliser. McGeehee just knocks it forward. Stanislas wins the header. That should do it. The referee checking his watch, puts his whistle to his mouth and blows it for the final time. And Sean Knight's side are on the cusp of greatness. They have battled and battled and battled and got what they deserved. A truly, truly remarkable 1-0 victory. Puts them 11 points clear of Derby with Derby still to play, remember. But what a result that is for Burnley Football Club. The goal in the 47th minute, the 49th minute rather from Michael Kiley. A tremendous goal. Having played a 1-2 with e Marnie. And Burnley go 11 points clear with Derby still to play. Full time at Bloomfield Road. Blackpool nil. A Jim and Burnley 1.